Hello guys, in this video we're gonna do this nice photo manipulation. Okay, let's start. So here we have three layers. There's a woman layer, a lion layer, and a forest layer. So all these pictures are gonna be a link in the description below, you can download it anytime. So let's start with the woman layer. You can see I selected the woman only using the pen tool here. Just select it normally and right click, make selection, and you will have this. So when you're done selecting, just click on this mask here and you'd have the woman alone. So now let's place the woman here and work with the lion. Okay, so let's go to the lion layer and now in the lion layer, get this magic tool and press on select subject. And when it selects everything here, just go to select, select and mask. And now just change the radius about this much and click on smart radius so you'd have everything back and just change it until the hair looks fine and there's nothing coming out of the lion. I think this looks fine. So go down and press on output to new layer with layer mask and press OK. And here you have this lion. So just go to edit, transform and flip horizontal. And then let's crop the image and just make it a little bit smaller. And we can crop it a bit more, just slightly. This looks better. And now let's go back to the lion, control T to scale and transform and enlarge it and place it back. And try to hide these feet here under the rocks because they're not selected properly. And this looks fine. So now let's go to layers and on the woman layer, add adjustment layer levels and put it on about maybe 72. This looks fine. And now add adjustment layers and put on saturation and put the saturation on like minus 35 and back and add another adjustment layers, put color balance and let's put it maybe minus 21 and the blue let's put it at about maybe 16 let's add some blue effect and let's go back layers and add adjustment layer and brightness and let's decrease the brightness about minus 82 okay this looks fine and now let's go back to layers and Let's go to the woman layer and create a new layer and put it underneath woman and let's name it shadow for woman and let's put the color on black and get the brush and put it about 53 and just add some shadows. looks fine it's not visible much now but we will fix it later so let's go back to the layers and now let's add another layer and let's name it light light one and in this layer we get the brush and put it on orange and make sure it's on screen and just paint once here twice Make this one light up and then increase the size and click once and do it again with a larger size and click here. So what we need now is let's go to layers and add a new layer and put it underneath light. Let's name it blue ba background. background. Okay, so in this layer we're gonna go to the colors, put it on maybe this color here and then we paint everything blue and we put it on hard light and we get the eraser and just remove some of it I'm gonna put low opacity and start removing stuff let's put it on 100 just for now to remove this and then we decrease the opacity till about 22 and we blend in And 
and this looks fine. So now let's continue. Go to layers and add another layer. Let's call this one light 2. And in this one, let's put it back to the orange. And let's put it on color dodge. And now get the brush and make sure it's on orange like the one before and just add some here some on the water and on the face make sure you don't do anything here because with color dodge orange and orange makes this color so you can actually click here, it kind of looks nice with this, so why not? You know, add this kind of big point here and add some more here because it's kind of lighter when it comes closer to the light and here it should be a bit lighter as well. And on the woman's clothes and face as well. And then on light 2, just control J, duplicate it and decrease the opacity to about 0.5 this much maybe and get the eraser and let's remove some because here there's so much light now And this looks nice so we're kind of done but go to the layers and go to the levels and get the black brush because it's a white mask and just make it light up a little bit even more we remove this dark level Decrease the opacity maybe, and a couple of touches here and there. And we can go back to the orange and just get the brush and add more here. Just like to blend in the colors. And now let's put the brightness back to maybe zero just for now so we can see here. And we want this body of the lion behind this tree. So let's go to the layers and go to the lion and decrease the opacity to about this much so we can see what's behind. And now let's select the tree, get the lasso tool. I'm gonna choose the lasso tool because it's fast, but if you want to make it more precise, get the pen tool. Okay, when you're done with this, get the brush and put it on black and now go to the mask of lion copy and just paint it with black, make sure the opacity is 100 so you remove it completely and now when you put back the lion you would see it's behind the tree. So we have to do the same for the feet, so let's put the opacity back and now get the lasso tool and zoom in. And let's just select this here. And remove it. And this one here.
and remove this one and with this feet here which is not reaching actually the let's put the opacity back you can see here it's behind now so what we can do here is we can actually get the stamp tool and we have to actually convert this to smart object and then rasterize it and hold alt to get this sign and press once and now just make the missing part of the leg appear okay and you can add more hold alt here and just add more and from this side And this looks fine so now what we have to do is we have to put the opacity back to low and get the lasso tool and zoom in and just select this area here and zoom out and just erase it and now Bring back the opacity to 100 and you can get that razor a little bit put it low and fix the edges and there's some orange here i don't like this orange so go to light and just erase it there's no need for this orange i think this is better so now zoom out and you'd have this so what you have to do now is, let's put back the levels, I mean the brightness, to maybe let's put it at 60 I think, having some blue isn't bad, 49, okay this looks fine. So now let's remove this orange here as well, go to layers and go to light 2 and just remove this here. better and you can add and on the other one okay and now I think we should go to levels I think there's a problem here because on my screen it looks a little bit lighter but when I actually upload it it becomes darker so I'm gonna go to the levels just for the sake of saving the file, I'm gonna light it up to like 150 maybe, 51, just because when I save it, it becomes darker. Okay, so now let's do some small stuff, like let's go to the layers, and on top of the, to the shadow of the woman, let's add some more here next to the foot, there's some missing here. With the black just add some more okay and we should add I think some blur so go to the line copy and right click on it convert to smart object and now go to filter blur Gaussian blur and put it on 2.5 press ok and bring the on the smart filter mask get the black brush increase the size a little bit and just bring back the face and some of this increase the size a little bit and maybe decrease the opacity And now the same thing for the background, so forest, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur 2.5 and the same thing, go to the smart filter mask, 
and just bring back this, the foreground. And maybe some of this. Decrease the size. And this looks better. Now to put it on 100 opacity, make sure it's 100. And bring back all of this. And I think we're done here. I would suggest to play with the levels. Maybe I should even make it like 190. I think this will be better. So make sure you always check this one. And there's one more thing. You notice this light here on the next leg is actually in the opposite direction. So go to the lion and hold out and click on it to get the selection. And press on it and right click, rasterize, and get the black brush and just add some black with 25 opacity. I think that's better. I can even add more. And we can go again to light one, with which the screen shows, and get the brush with 196 and just add one here. Make the light stronger. And we can also go to light 2 and get the eraser and put it at 12 opacity and just try to blend in these colors here And then put the brush again, and let's color it again in a better way. I think this looks better. And what we can do is just go to the levels again and just increase it slightly more just for safety because I think when I save it it's going to be very light. I think this works. And one more thing we can do, I selected this using the lasso, you can select it using the pen tool, but I wanted to do it fast. So I'm gonna go to layers, then to levels, click on the mask, and get the black brush, and just brighten the right up using 100 opacity. And then go to brightness mask and light it up on the right. And when you're done with this, go to light copy to and with the orange, just give it some orange here. I think we have to go to light two. Okay, I think that's fine. And we can go get the eraser and just blend it in. Start erasing slowly from here and here, just blend in. And go to levels and get the white brush, enlarge it, and blend in. And with the brightness as well. And we can go to the smart filters, click on the mask here, and put it on white. Increase the size a little bit and just Make it a little bit blurry from the top and a little bit from the bottom and I think that's fine 
we can create a new layer on top of light 2. We can name it light 3. And get the brush with the orange and just add a little bit here. Maybe make it a bit smaller. Don't add much on the top, mostly here. And put it on hard light, I think, or I think linear or maybe color. Color works, yes. And that's it. 